Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Veteran Dad Tactical, and I'll be presenting you guys with a performance review on the Smith & Wesson m and 15 AR pistol. I'll be testing out some different types of ammo, see how they perform coming out of the 7.5-inch barrel. But before we go to the range... So I'm here at the indoor range. We're going to test the accuracy at different distances, see how it handles. A target set up at 25 yards. Aiming at the top left circle. I only have my iron sights on. I do plan on installing the optic in the future. All right, so let's see how we did at 25 yards. All right, so I was aiming at the top left circle and at 25 yards, that's not too bad for iron sights, unsupported. Let's take it out to 15 and see how we do. Now let's try the 10 yards. Pretty good shot groups. Alright, so I'm going to double tap the last bottom three. They are about seven yards away. My overall opinion, it handles pretty good. Accuracy is decent for a seven and a half inch barrel. So let's head back out to the outdoor range and see what kind of performance we can get out of different types of ammo on some targets. First, we're just going to test out some standard 55 grain 223 Remington on this honeydew milling down here. Got the entrance. You got the exit right there. That's just your standard full metal jacket. I'm going to be testing out some 62 grain, 5.56, M855, green tip, light armor piercing ammo. The target I'm going to be testing this out on, I have eight sections of 2x4 lined up. My guess is it's going to go through all of them, but we're going to see. All right, so this is board number one. Went through the first board, the raw eight, and still came out the back of my second board, uh, backup board I had right here. So it went through eight, all eight. I have some 55 grain, 223, gold dot, jacket at South Point. Jacket at South Point ammo has less penetration than a full metal jacket with more expansion but it has less expansion than a jacketed hollow point with more penetration than a jacketed hollow point. The target, I have some beef ribs followed by four one gallon water jugs. Hopefully we can recover the round and see what it looks like. So this is the entrance hole for the ribs. Went through both sets of ribs. That's the exit. Still had enough power coming out of those ribs to go through this one water jug. That's the exit. Went through this one. And we found the ram, man. So that's still some pretty good expansion and performance coming out of a seven and a half inch barrel with pretty good penetration. I'm going to be testing out some 69 grain, 223 jacketed hollow point, and we're going to see if it still has a significant expansion. The target I'm going to be using is a whole chicken stuffed with some lemons to kind of simulate organ tissue, followed by three one gallon water jugs. So 
this is the entrance for the chicken. It only went through one lemon. This is the exit right there. And this is the first water jug. This is the second water jug right here. Then you have the third water jug. Uh, we didn't weren't able to recover around to see what it looks like, but I think it expanded enough to still cause significant damage. This concludes my backyard performance test with the seven and a half inch Smith and Wesson AR pistol with these different types of ammunition. Thank you guys for tuning in, Veteran Dad Tech.